All right, I'm currently working on a 2004 uh, Ford F-350 Super Duty 6 liter with the 5R110W. And this came in with no reverse. And these trannies are, the earlier ones are pretty much known for uh, line pressure issues or runaway pressure in reverse. Uh, it, it blows the snap ring out, which it did for the low reverse for the piston and the springs. Uh, broke one of the lugs off the case, which I'm going to show you that happened as well. Um, so I'm going to show you what I do to fix that, uh, where the critical wear area is on the pressure regulator valve here in the, uh, in the pump area. I use a Transgo shift kit and I have the updated uh, setup uh, for the low reverse. So let me get a little closer. I'm going to show you on the bench uh, what happened. And I'm going to show you the updated parts also that are going to be going in. And then we're going to look at the, uh, uh, the pump for the pressure regulator. I have the old one out and I have the shift kit one uh, ready to go in. All right, so let me get a little closer here and uh, we'll continue. All right, so here is uh, the back of the unit. Uh, pretty much this is why it had no reverse. Uh, this uh, snap ring was out. I got a new one of these coming. Here are, is what's left of the return springs. All right, I got those coming here. And the piston, of course, a molded piston, which is going to be changed, is all uh, torn up here. So there's, uh, there's your no reverse. And again, this is due to more than likely high line pressure. Okay, here is uh, the mechanical diode in the back. This snap ring was out, and here is the mechanical diode in the back that uh, uh, also had gone bad. Now, there is an updated part. This is going to be changed. The low reverse clutches here are all going to be changed, and this is updated. Oh, by the way, here's a case lug that broke off of the case that I want to show you guys. All right, so all this is going to be changed. Both snap rings were out. And from what I understand happens with these, you know, these pressure regulator valves, the, either the, the, the bore wears out, uh, I would think maybe similar to the 5HP24, and also that these, that these valves, pressure valves, are kind of notorious for sticking in the bore as well. It can also cause the high line pressure. Here is the updated part that is going in. Uh, this is straight out of Ford, and this is over $400. So this is what's going to be going back in when I put it back together. This is the latest and greatest stuff. Uh, this truck actually is a, uh, uh, it has a sander on the back, you know, to do parking lots and stuff. So we've got to build this thing to last. All right, the pump. Pressure regulator valve lives in here. Uh, these bores like to wear out. Uh, also, the valve uh, pretty much uh, is notorious for sticking in the bore. So I'm gonna tell you how I go about checking that out. Um, okay, first of all, here is, here is the valve that came out. Okay, and here is the valve, the shift kit valve. It's going to go back in. All right, so the lanes are much longer, and if even if the pump is worn down a little bit on the bores, uh, it should it should work. So this is a pretty good pretty good product. Um, again, it's the Transgo shift kit. So you want to make sure that okay first this area right here with like a little notch cut in. Uh, if you can see that little notch going right there. This is the critical wear area for the 5R110 for the pressure regulator valve. So you kind of want to look at that uh, and make sure that it's not beat up, it's not burnt up, because you're certainly going to want to clean that so the valve does not stick in the bore. Okay, and you want to make sure the valve goes in nice and smooth and pushes all the way in just like that. All right, now what I'm gonna do, because these things are so 
notorious for sticking in the bore, I'm going to actually, once I have this, I'm going to take the valve back out and I'm going to actually put the pump together. I'm waiting for my lineup tool. All right, with these 5R110s, it's pretty critical uh, to line these pumps up good and correctly. Uh, I'm waiting for the tool. So I'm going to put the pump together without the pressure regulator, bolt it together, and then I'm going to put some, uh, get a couple of nuts and bolts with washers and maybe clamp it down in four places to simulate that it's in the case. And then I'm going to see how smooth and make sure my regulator valve uh, slides in and out smoothly so it does not stick in the bore. So I'm going to put it together and I'm going to try it and then I'm going to uh, clamp it together to simulate it is in the case and make sure the valve moves good uh, in the bore because again these things are notorious for sticking which of course is going to cause uh, high line pressure as well. Alright so what I want to do now is get the case over here. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and show you uh, the area that the case breaks and what it is is you have you have one lug okay which I'll show you and then you have a space and then you have another lug. Those two lugs are the ones that normally break off and being the fact that there's a space there there's a, the one lug is broken and there's a big space you know that I, I don't like that so I actually have a case coming for this and I spoke to the customer and I let him know what's going on uh, that you know we have to put a case in this thing so he's, he's pretty cool about it. This is uh, you know, one of his trucks he uses for a business is a sander. So, we got to make this thing last. Uh, Alright, so let me get the case over here and I'll show you where this came from. And I will be back in two minutes. Alright, so here's the shot of the case here. And the lug should go right here. That broke off. I'm hoping you guys can see that. And here's the space I was talking about. And normally this lug breaks off as well. And then if that's the case, if they're both broken, then you definitely need a new case. But being the fact that one's broken um, and how this truck is used, I'm not taking any chances and I am replacing the case. I'm waiting for that to arrive. So that's what happens, you know, when the line pressure uh, gets out of control for reverse. It could get up to... Um, depending on the situation, it could get up to, um, uh, from the tech I was speaking to the other day, you know, like six, 650 pounds, and it blows the snap ring out of the groove here. It blows the lugs out. Uh, the snap ring, of course, that sits here for the uh, return springs for the piston. So that's what happens on these 5R110Ws. All right, so let me just put it back on the tripod, and we'll finish it up. Be right back. All right, now also in the ship kit, once I uh, put the unit together, this is gonna be the snap ring. It's a very heavy snap ring uh, that is gonna go and hold all this stuff down again, you know, once I get the, the unit together. All right, this is the snap ring that originally came out that was blown out. They actually have updated this snap ring a few times, but in the ship kit, it comes with this heavy snap ring uh, even, I believe, uh, superior products, because I use this super tough snap ring for the forward ring gear, for this one here, which I use on E4ODs, 4R100s, 5R55Ss. I always change that. I believe superior might have this all by itself. Uh, so even if you elect not to use the shift kit, I would certainly recommend to use this heavy snap ring, because this is pretty good stuff. Um, all right, so the way this snap ring gets installed is, remember I just showed you on the case, uh, the broken lug, and then you had the space, and then you had the other lug that usually breaks off also, but that one was there. Okay, that snap ring opening is gonna go opposite of that, so this will face the top of the case, like in the 12 o'clock position. All right, so we have this snap ring that gets changed, this super tough snap ring, but this one is gonna get changed. Uh, also, another uh, critical area, that I did want to show you that you should pay close attention to are the bushings here. All right, these bushings, sometimes they like to wear out, so you want to put it on here, and you want to make sure, you know, I've got a little movement here, so I have the bushings coming as well. 
uh, this is the direct drum. So these bushings in here are going to be changed. So that's a couple of the uh, critical areas. Also, uh, the EPC solenoid uh, usually always gets changed. And the temperature sensor on these units uh, always get changed. You know, I had a couple of these that came in uh, that had on these trucks that have their own temperature gauge. And all of a sudden, you see this thing go straight up to 300. The fans kick on. And it's all due to a faulty uh, temp sensor. Uh, so that's another thing that you definitely want to change. Uh, I know some guys that, that do a lot of these and they actually stock those temp sensors because they, they always go bad. Uh, all right, so I guess that is about it for this uh, 04 uh, Ford F-350 Super Duty with the Spy Bar 110W. Uh, again, this came in with no reverse. And uh, anytime you have no reverse on these earlier ones, you want to check that case, see if those lugs are broken. Usually it's due to uh, the runaway line pressure uh, on these units. So, you know, these earlier ones, I highly recommend the shift kit. Uh, that Transco shift kit is really a great product. Uh, also, they have great support uh, if you need to call them as well. I call them. Uh, I talk to those guys a lot. If I have questions, uh, they're very helpful and very knowledgeable. Uh, all right, so I guess that's about it on this side. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next one.